Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Sagittarius, uh, this is a timeless reading and this reading is about uh, what is your journey to meet your soulmate, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out one card which is going to be the theme or the purpose of why you're going to meet your soulmate. Then uh, we'll, I'll pull out six cards which will signify the journey to meet your soulmate, okay? And then uh, I'm going to pull out some oracle cards and these oracle cards are going to be a sort of an advice for you, okay? As to uh, how you can speed up the journey is going to be a sort of an advice right like how to make this journey easy if you're facing any kind of challenges then how to overcome those challenges right so let's get started now let's get started Sagittarius let's get started let's get started Sagittarius So, wait. The theme card or the purpose is a six of cups. Okay. I'll discuss the cards. First, I'll lay them down. Okay. We have a six of swords. We have is king of swords. We have a spade of wands. We have is five of cups, queen of swords, and we have is queen of wands. Okay, interesting. Then let's pull out the oracle cards for advice 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 we have a strong warning we have is a journey then we have is rest and rejuvenation and we have is envy okay so right so what is the purpose what is the theme why you're going to meet the soulmate so six of cups is a past life soulmate and look at the way she is handing over this cup of love to her so this first of all let me tell you that you can have more than one soulmate in one lifetime uh, the soulmate uh, need not always be a romantic person. This person can be the soulmate can be a friend. The soulmate can be a parent, a sibling. The soulmate can be a uh, what shall I say? Um, maybe a boss, or they can come in any form of relationship in your life. Okay, as far as you are concerned, Sagittarius, you are going to meet them to love them. Okay, this person, this soulmate of yours is going to be a romantic partner's partner of yours in this lifetime. Okay. And there, there is going to be an ultimate form of love. You are going to meet this person to experience true love, true unconditional love with this person. Okay. So, what about your journey? We have a six of swords, king of swords, page of wands. Then we have is five of cups, queen of swords and queen of wands. Okay. So with that six of swords, what I feel is uh, Sagittarius, uh, you may be someone who has experienced a lot of different cultures, a lot of different environment around you okay uh, like say for example you may have your uh, you may have got relocated to multiple places uh, during your childhood or till your teens okay if that is not the case then you are someone who always 
ends up attracting especially friends or people or acquaintances who do not belong to your culture or who are a bit different and for some of you your parents have never approved of uh, of, of these relationships with people from different cultures or uh, different uh, uh, different uh, uh, friends who have who have experienced different environments okay or or what i see is you have always got attracted to people who do not belong to your community people who are from different ethnicities people who belong to different culture okay and you always keep on wondering like why do i feel like this okay you probably may have also felt like you are a misfit wherever you are right now okay you you feel like you belong somewhere you belong to some other place you you probably may have always felt like you are a different kid as compared to other people as compared to other uh there is always a calling inside you sagittarius like maybe there is i need to experience the world or maybe i need to travel the globe okay i need to expose myself to different cultures and different environments i want to take that experience before i meet someone why you have this feeling is because your soulmate is going to belong to a different culture a different ethnicity a different environment okay and what i'm sensing is sagittarius your interest your uh yeah whatever you have liked so far is considered as unconventional by your family okay what you like what your your friends or what your siblings like okay is is th- there is always a difference and your there w- probably it it can also be a, a joke within the family that uh you like you belong you are an adopted kid you do not belong to our family because of your different uh, tastes and different interest okay and not that not that you have got a bad treatment from your family but maybe this was an internal joke okay because of your unconventional uh, interest unconventional as per your family or as per your friends or people around you okay and but you are very different from your siblings is what i'm sensing you're very different you're very mature from day one itself okay why because you are a very mature soul a highly spiritually awakened soul in one of your past lives a recent past life okay a very highly spiritually awakened soul and that is the reason why you have thought that you are a misfit in your family or you are different as compared to people around you that spiritual awakening that maturity that level of understanding that level of wisdom has been carried forward in this lifetime also okay you were someone else in a previous lifetime probably you were a monk or someone in in a previous lifetime okay you in a previous lifetime you were someone who was always constantly trying to search the purpose of your life constantly trying to serve the humanity okay the the you are you were someone in a previous lifetime who left the riches of your family to find the purpose of your life okay you were like you are someone who who had uh, reached a nirvana stage okay where the materialistic life type uh, ma- materialistic life did not allure, uh, did not allure you did not attract you okay 
uh, in this is about the past life okay your past life you had left all the riches you had left all the materialistic needs and you probably had become a you had uh, taken up the life of a monk and you were constantly on this journey of searching uh, the spiritual side of the life okay and you were a very highly awakened soul in the past life and that is what has got carried forward in this lifetime also in this lifetime yes you are meant to find a romance you are meant to romance someone not that you are going to be monk in this lifetime but why you are a misfit or why you are way uh, mature and way wise as compared to people around you or as compared to your family members is because is because of this reason uh, okay because of your past life with that king of swords what i feel is sagittarius you have always experienced people taking undue advantage of you okay because of your very mature and a very nice and a kind attitude people have always ended up taking undue advantage of you and that sort of that sort of created a lot of fear inside you so you have experienced a phase where you were totally disconnected from the spiritual side of the life okay during your childhood you were you were very you probably or you also had a lot of uh, deja vu experiences you also had a lot of uh, dreams about your past life but that deja vu or your sixth sense or your intuitive abilities they were reduced over a period of time as you started growing up because because your mind was constantly gripped uh, with fear that people will end up taking my undue advantage people will end up misusing uh, misusing me because you have had really bad experiences in your life uh, because of your kind soul and you know your your people always considered your kindness as your weakness okay and that is why you drifted away from spiritual part of the life for a certain phase okay there was a lot of fear inside you there was a lot of uh, insecurity inside you and during that phase you have you must have experienced like you are not sensing any s intuition you are not sensing your sixth uh, sixth sense you you probably have uh only during your childhood you used to get those deja vu experiences or uh, you used to have uh dreams about your past life okay and they no more are a part of your life okay because of course the experiences during your, your current life are uh, are more what shall i say your concentration and your focus is of course more on the experiences in the current life but again the experiences were not so good while growing up okay because uh i told you why and so that's why there was a phase where you drifted away from spirituality for a some time for some time okay then you started realizing like like wherever your st your soul started realizing sagittarius like wherever i'm heading is not is not the right direction me drifting away from what i have already inside me is is uh, is is not right okay probably at that time you were not even knowing what spirituality is all about but you were knowing that what i was when as a child okay maybe you had really amazing sixth sense or in your uh, psychic abilities your intuitive abilities were really good okay but you lost those abilities in between and then you started realizing like there is something that is missing i need to regain whatever i had within myself okay so with that page of wands you started becoming this enthusiastic person working on yourself you probably you were more focused on your career in the past okay you also became very ambitious okay and you were confusing your career progress as as your spiritual uh, progress okay because the mind was very naive at that point of time okay this was this was about 
so the mind was very naive you were confusing your career progress as your spiritual progress your subconscious mind was craving for a spiritual awakening was craving for you wanting to experience that level of wisdom that level of uh, 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 maturity uh, that you had experienced during the past or that level of intuitive abilities psychic abilities that you were experiencing as a child okay and still even if you were progressing in your career still you were feeling like there is something that is missing there is something that is missing okay and then you thought that what is missing is probably romance okay so you 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 probably got into some love relationships uh, with with the wrong people which ultimately showed you that you know uh which ultimately showed you that <laughs> I mean love is is not something that you're seeking okay why why your soul was trying to tell you love is not something that you are seeking because ultimately love is going to find you you don't have to chase love in this life in this lifetime your soulmate will appear in your life at the right time okay so you got into some wrong relationships you you experienced a lot of disappointment over there over at that time also you you started realizing like hmm maybe maybe it's not the career progress i mean i want career you were working and uh, you were working towards that but then you were like still something is missing so you thought that maybe romance is missing so i will go towards uh, love relationship so you started finding uh, your happiness you started confusing your romantic success uh, success in your romantic relationships as your spiritual success okay again when you started experiencing disappointment in your love life you were like fine i had love relationships but my soul is craving for something else also okay and i haven't yet found that okay so what i feel is you met your twin flame in between Sagittarius you have already met a twin flame in between with the king of swords and with the queen of swords okay you have met a twin flame already in your life you were in a romantic relationship with this twin flame we have king of swords and we have as queen of swords divine counterparts you have met your twin flame in between you couldn't you couldn't stop this relationship from happening in your life at the end of the day yes they are your twin flame okay and after getting into a relationship with this twin flame you experience a lot of extremes in this relationship like extreme happiness extreme satisfaction extreme pain okay which probably was not which probably was not something that you had experienced in the past okay and this twin flame relationship sort of opened the doors to spirituality because of so much of painful experience you had in the past okay you started coming back to spirituality maybe you started opening yourself up to tarot card reading to astrology to find trying to find peace inside you some of you are doing meditation to heal yourself you started finding yes i i see that the twin flame relationship did not did not work out okay it did not work out it it was very painful for you okay extremely painful and what i see is because of that that extreme level of pain because of the extreme emotions you experienced in this relationship there was a lot of emotional turmoil there there was a lot of ups and downs you experienced in your life and because of that ups and downs you wanted to stabilize your life you wanted to stabilize you yourself emotionally and that is where you started relying on spirituality on your uh, universal consciousness that is how you started learning about how to heal yourself that is how you started learning about reiki healing meditation yoga not that you were not aware about meditation and yoga but probably you are someone who was not following this in the past but now you you are doing it as a you are making some conscious efforts towards that okay you were doing it in the past but not from the bottom of your heart okay but now what i see after the breakup with your twin flame you are finally 
your soul is finally able to find what it was finding and that was spiritual awakening inside you have started walking down in the direction of your spiritual awakening sagittarius okay and that happened because your twin flame triggered that inside you what was lost in between what your soul was trying to search in between that twin flame entered in your life and they triggered some spiritual awakening inside you that that was their role okay your twin flame is not meant to marry you in this lifetime your twin flame is not meant to be with you in this lifetime okay their role was only to trigger a spiritual awakening inside you in this lifetime okay with that queen of wands what i feel is this is going to be one last romantic affair before you meet your soulmate <laughs> looks like you had multiple romantic affairs <laughs> nice nice okay and not everyone has that uh, what shall i say not everyone is that lucky <laughs> so yes so you are someone you are in the process of healing yourself and then there is going to be one soulmate who is again i told you right you may have multiple soulmates and there is going to be one soulmate who is going to enter in your life who is actually going to heal you completely but for some reasons i don't see this relationship working out with this soulmate because there is ultimately there's someone else who is meant to enter in your life to show you what is true and unconditional love okay so wow this is such an intense reading in one life to you are going to experience twin flame in one life you're going to experience one two soulmates like it's really good and it is a really intense uh, intense situation for you okay so and this relationship with this first soulmate is going to be very short term i don't see this as uh, stay for long probably this person will have to relocate somewhere else all of a sudden some changes will happen and they they will but you are not going to experience the pain too much probably you will be aware about the circumstances beforehand only but still being a soulmate uh, maybe both of you won't be able to stop this connection from happening so it will be a short lived connection and both of you will separate and it's not going to be that painful because from start itself both of you will know that maybe this situation is not meant to work out but because of the intensity because of the chemistry both of you won't be able to stop and then there is going to be the entry of ultimate soulmate and this soulmate is going to teach you or they are going to share you the share with you the true love true unconditional love and true happiness okay once you meet the soulmate you will be able to connect all the dots okay so what is the advice we have a storm warning we have a journey we have his rest and rejuvenation and we have his journey uh, we have his envy yes you will go through lot of emotional ups and downs in your life and these emotional ups and downs are sort of pushing you towards your soulmate especially when you are with with the twin flame uh you you probably have experienced lot of emotional ups and downs emotional turmoil inside you so don't don't worry about that is what i'm what i'm trying to convey that happened for a reason okay in fact the twin flame came to enter that spiritual awakening that you were looking out for your entire life so far okay so the journey is continuously on okay you are on a journey to meet your multiple soulmates and that is why you are meeting so many people huh? your journey is ultimately your journey is for is for spiritual awakening and these people the soulmates that you are going to meet the twin flame that you are going to meet they are going to contribute towards your life in some other other way okay so you will meet soulmates in in this lifetime in next lifetime also you're going to meet multiple people who who will be significant to you in some other way please rest yourself please heal yourself okay your healing is needed which will sort of accelerate the spiritual awakening which will sort of accelerate the entire process of meeting your soulmate okay and envy is something be aware of negative people there are negative people who will try to pull you away from your existing journey okay <clears throat> they will try to pull you away i'm i'm sensing that maybe there are some friends who who may try to first of all don't share if you are uh, in a romantic relationship with someone share with the world only when you are very comfortable about it 
okay uh, try to keep it a secret if possible okay uh, otherwise what i see is like you are someone who keeps on attracting uh, negative souls very fast okay so don't keep on blabbering about you about about the good things that are happening in your life okay all right i i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye bye